64-year-old Margaret Moko is very careful about what she eats. She watches carbs as well as calories. That's because Margaret has diabetes. My father had diabetes. A lot of my aunts and uncles on my father's side had diabetes. My brother has it and my sister has it. If your parents have had diabetes or your grandparents, you have like an 80% chance you will have it. And having diabetes is not just an inconvenience. It can be deadly if patients like Margaret don't watch their diet and blood sugar levels. Uh, it can get scary. If your sugar's low and you don't have any glucose tablets with you, you can be in a world of hurt real quick. I think recent statistics have shown about 8% of the population has diabetes. Andrea Grazani is a certified diabetes educator with Norton Healthcare. She provides instruction and support for adults with diabetes. Diabetes is a disease of elevated blood sugars for a couple of different reasons. Um, so our pancreas maybe isn't making enough insulin to help our cells absorb all the sugar, or our pancreas has stopped making insulin altogether. Is diabetes becoming more common? As our population continues to eat less healthfully and exercise less, we are seeing uh, more and more overweight, and that overweight can lead to more and more diabetes. To manage her diabetes, Margaret attends a monthly support group and works with Norton Healthcare educators like Andrea to keep her diabetes in check. And learning the rules and sticking to them can head off serious complications. Um, our goal in treating diabetes is to manage the complications so we don't end up with people having heart problems, eye problems, nerve damage. We want to manage blood sugars to keep all of that kind of stuff from happening. The symptoms of diabetes are extreme thirst, frequent urination, fatigue, hunger, and dry skin. There is no cure for diabetes, but it can be prevented, or in a family history case, delayed. It can be preventable with lifestyle, um, eating properly, exercising, um, to making sure that your blood pressure, cholesterol, all of those are where they need to be, are things that can be done to help prevent diabetes. And Margaret says that's good advice. Stay away from as many sweets as you can and exercise. I think that is the, the key element right there. Exercise routinely.